you. What's good is graphics. Thank God for another video. And in this video, we're going to be exploring the fastest ways to level up your shotguns in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Let's get into it. Now, in this video specifically, we're going to be focusing on leveling up the weapons. Yes, there are ways to level up in general, but we're just going to focus on the weapon XP. Now, when your shotgun is level one, you're not going to have access to a lot of attachments unless you play Modern Warfare 2. See, if you play Modern Warfare 2 and you unlock all your shotguns and attachments, you now have access to those weapons and attachments in Modern Warfare 3. So for the sake of this video, I'm just only going to include Modern Warfare 3 attachments that you unlock with the weapon progression. Now as of right now, we're just leveling up the shotguns, but in a later video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best attachments to maximize your playstyle and potential of the shotgun. Now as of right now, for the Model 680, you basically want attachments that prioritize your rechambering speed, bullet velocity, and range, and recoil control. Now like I said before, I will go over these attachments in a later video. Those are generally the things that you want to look out for. Now when it comes to game modes, there's one that stands out in particular, and that's Kill Confirm. Kill Confirm is great because you can get weapon XP from getting kills and also picking up tags. Now I found this game mode to be one of the easier and also consistent ways to get XP in multiplayer. Now another game mode you can try is Hardpoint. Now if you play the objective effectively, you can rack up a lot of XP from defending or attacking the objective. With that being said, everyone else is doing the same thing, so depending on your skill level, you can really maximize that potential of earning XP. Now the last game mode that I would recommend is free for all. Free for all is one of my favorite game modes because I like playing solo and sometimes with teams you can get a little overwhelmed. Now depending on your skill level again in the lobby that you're in you can get a lot of XP just from getting the kills and winning the game. Now the biggest takeaway from this is just to play the game mode that you enjoy because typically if you enjoy the game mode that you may be good at it and if you're good at it then you can probably earn a little more XP. Now if you're new to the Call of Duty franchise I understand if you don't know all of these game modes I suggest you go play them and try them out and see what you like for yourself. With that being said, I still feel that Kill Confirm is the best pick here. Even if you're having a bad game, you can still run around the map and pick up the tags while getting weapon XP for it and helping out your team. Now moving on, I'm going to be giving you some general tips and tricks that's going to help you level up even faster. And the first one I have for you is to use your pistol for better movement speed. Now shotguns don't typically have good movement speed, but if you switch to your pistol, you'll be able to move faster. That's so you can get to good positioning, you can also move around the map faster, mantle and everything like that, and you'll be able to play the objective much more effectively. Now the next tip I have for you is to play small to medium maps only. Now I'm grateful that they brought back map voting. It's easier to just to choose the map that you want to play instead of loading into a match that you don't want to play and then having to back out. Now small to medium maps are ideal for shotguns because of the close range. Also maps with a lot of buildings so you can move in and out of cover while effectively picking off your targets. Now these are the small and medium maps at launch that we have access to. Depending on your playstyle, these are the best maps you can choose for shotguns. Now these next tips are things that you can do in game as a reward for playing well. Now these are typically your medals like double kill, bloodthirsties, and survival kills for not dying. Now you can also get medals from low blows which is sliding and you can get it for jump shots as well. Now the jump shot medal will activate after you press the jump button and while you're in the air you get the elimination. The jump can be big or small, as long as you're in the air and you get the elimination, it'll count. And one of the medals that you get for typically for shotguns and sniper rifles or any one shot weapon is the one shot one kill multiplier. Now I know the name is self explanatory, you just gotta get a kill with one shot. Lastly, if you're playing close range enough, you'll get a lot of point blank kills. That's getting kills while you're very close to the enemy. And with the nature of shotguns, that's where you wanna be anyway. So if you put all those tips and tricks together, you should be leveling up your shotguns pretty fast. Now depending on the game mode and your skill level, it should take you about two to three hours or approximately 15 games. Now for some additional tips, if you're really good at a particular game mode, the matchmaking might match you up with people who's not trying to level up their guns. There might be people who are already using their Modern Warfare 2 maxed out weapons or they're just sweaty. So if this starts to happen, I suggest you just play another game mode in the playlist. And sometimes if you play another game mode, it just might refresh the matchmaking so you end up playing normal lobbies again. Now if this doesn't work and auto lobbies are completely sweaty, then I understand, you can just go play zombies. Now I'm not the biggest zombie fan, but I understand that you can level up your weapons by playing zombies. I also understand that there is an exfil exploit that you can do with leveling up your weapons, but just in case that gets patched, I'm gonna keep this here. Now I played zombies for about an hour and it's not that bad. Now zombies will be better with friends or you can queue up with random people online. 
Now make sure you equip another gun as a secondary so you don't get overwhelmed with all the zombies and potentially not be able to exfil. Lastly, I would just like to say, enjoy the game for what it is. I know some people come on videos like this to level up their shotgun fast because they don't like shotguns and they just trying to level it up so they can unlock the mastery camo. I get it, we're gonna have other weapons that are added into the game, so if you don't actually wanna use shotguns, you may not have to. So all I'm saying is just pace yourself. Now the ones who actually like shotguns and wanna get it gilded, this next video should help you with that. I'm gonna be showing you the most efficient ways to get these challenges done faster. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for the vibe. And just like always, no stress, do your best. God bless. Aight.